What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossfade Kitchen. I am Eddie, a.k.a. Lelo, and this is... What's up, everybody? I'm Brandon, a.k.a. The Crypto Host. All right, for today's episode, we're going to be making uh, fish tacos infused with some TNC along with... I'm going to be doing some mango strawberry blended marks. It's going to be on spot. All right. <laughs> you already know how we started. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, Dude, you got uh, We haven't done one in a while, so, you know... Life. It got to take one. Alright guys, let's get to it. For today's episode, of obviously we're gonna have some tortillas, otherwise we wouldn't have tacos. We have some mahi mahi for today's fish. Uh, we have some cabbage, tomatoes, red onion, jalapeno, limes, salt and pepper. Always gotta have that. Or uh Vegetable oil infused with some OG Kush, salsa, and some sour cream, crema, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, so we're going to make a little bit of uh, cabbage slaw, if that's what you guys want to call it. For this, we're just going to, you know, slice this very thin. I say thin because it's pretty crunchy as it is. And um, if we have thick ass pieces, all you're going to hear is that. You hear that? Yeah, all right. So we got some cabbage right here. We're gonna mix that up. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of love, just you know, so we can garnish our uh, taco. First things first, like I said, make sure you guys prep all your vegetables, all your, you know, fruit, whatever you guys are using. Uh, and then after that, we can use the same cutting board that we're, you know, getting our prep done to, uh, you know, put raw items such as chicken, steak. Uh, for today's episode, obviously it's gonna be mahi. Careful over there at home, don't cut your fingers. And if you do, have a first aid kit. All right, that should be enough cabbage because uh, we're only making, you know, a few tacos. Uh, we got that done. We're gonna go on to the red onion. So for this, we're gonna make kind of like pico de gallo, but instead of, uh, instead of the pico de gallo being diced, we're gonna make it sliced. Uh, I don't know, I just think it's gonna look way doper. You guys go to, you know, whatever taco place you guys go to and uh, you guys see pico de gallo diced up. I just think it looks better garnished, sliced up. And for this, again, we're gonna slice it pretty thin. I did forget to bring some cilantro, but so it's all good. We don't really need it. All right, we got that right there. Thin slices. Make sure you guys' knife is sharpened before you guys cut. If not, y'all gonna have have it sliding in. Before you know it, you're gonna have that cut around you. Here we go for the tomato. Now, you guys can go ahead and use the core of the tomato at home. For this, I really don't use it. I like, I like taking it off. I'm gonna probably drain this juice here on top of my cabbage because I want a little bit of that, of that tomato acid, you know what I mean? All right, so we have our tomato here. Slice it pretty thin again. It's easier if you slice it from the opposite side, the core facing up. And for this, we're gonna do two tomatoes. Honestly, I think that's all I brought. Uh, y'all see that tomato just squirt me. Don't worry guys, I washed my hands. We're good over here. More thin slices. There we go. We're gonna do a jalapeno. Same thing for the jalapeno. I'm taking out the seeds. Careful, make sure you guys are wearing gloves at home. I forgot mine's at home. But for this one, I'm playing it with the outside of the jalapeno facing up. Otherwise, I'm gonna have nothing but jalapeno juice on my hands. And you guys know 
Probably that's when you gotta go use a restroom. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna say take the seeds out. Take the seeds out. There we go. And slices. Dope. All right, guys. So we got our uh, vegetables already ready to go. So we got our bowl right here, right? We're gonna pour all of our stuff here. A little mix of red onions. Like I said, you guys can go ahead and use cilantro at home. You know, make it a little bit herby. Tastes good, you know. All right, so we're gonna squeeze our lime in it. For this one, we cut it. We cut it out earlier for a for that tequila shot. So we're gonna try to get as much juice as we can out of it. It kind of helps if you make those noises. All right, then we got some salt. Is that what she tells you? Some pepper. Mix it around. Maybe you guys should have a bigger bowl at home. But hey, we're doing what we do. All right, so we got that. Maybe a little more pepper and a little more salt. Do like flavors in my food. There we go. All right, so we got that. All right, now we have our cabbage right here, right? You guys see me toss my tomato acid earlier. We're gonna add some, some pepper. You already know, some salt. We have uh, herb limes. Now, normally when you guys are at home, you guys want to get the most juice out of it, right? Grab that, put some pressure on it, roll it. And you guys, you guys can see how, how juicy that lime is going to be once I cut it. Mm. All right. Fail. <laughs> All right, so that was the bad part, but here we go. This one hard ass lines. Here we go. We're gonna toss that around. Now, we're gonna infuse this a little bit with our vegetable oil that's infused with some OG Kush, like I said earlier. Ah, uh, it smells like fucking weed and cabbage. All right, we got our stuff ready. Let's get ready to uh, sear our fish. All right, guys, so uh, as I was walking around Brandon's place, I saw an apple, and uh, I thought it was only right to add some apple slices to our cabbage mix. I don't know why this owner in me just said, fuck it, do it. And uh, I'm doing it. There it goes. Some apple slice, got that cabbage. And y'all already know that shit was infused. All right, so now next, we're gonna do a little bit of our, uh, I would say saucy crema. Um, I'm calling it saucy caramel because I was originally going to use some chipotle sauce for it, but I left it at home. See what I mean? All right. So we got our sour cream. If you guys want to make it into crema, all you have to do is just add a little bit of more water in it. Actually, add a little bit of water on it. You know, give it a quick whisk. We got our sauce right here. Give it a mix. We are gonna add some salt to it. We're also gonna add a little bit of lime juice. Give it a good whisk. And you know what? 
Why not also infuse this with some oil, right? There we go, guys. Er. Salsa crema. So today I'll be showing you how to make a blended mango strawberry margarita. Yeah, buddy. So we're gonna start off with some chamoy. We got our chamoy liner right here. We're gonna be right, uh, lining our glass. We have our tahin, or the tahin liner. Uh, we have our THC simple syrup. You don't uh, remember how to make this? Click the link down below and we'll show you how to do that. We have some sweet, or a non-sweetened, my apologies, non-sweetened lime juice. So this is pure lime juice, pure lemon juice. We're gonna be doing our own kind of simple syrup. We have our cut mango, cut strawberry. Of course we got our tequila. And since it's blended, we need a blender. So first things first, gonna, I like mine a little stronger. So we're gonna throw a total of four ounces in, which is in the jigger to the top of the tall side. And I like to pour over because I just got done working out, so I'm shaking really bad, so I'm probably gonna spill some. Oh, jerking off. Come in, still a workout. Now we got that in there. We're gonna do 0.75 simple syrup. Now, 0.75 on um, the small side of the jigger is to the line on the, it's almost at the top, but it's not. You'll see it if not, if you go to the, the one ounce mark, which is to the very top, not the end of the world. And realistically, it's THC simple syrup. You're just gonna get higher, so not a bad thing. We're gonna do 0.5 lemon and 0.5, said that backwards. 0.5 lime, 0.5 lemon. Uh, that's going to be the middle of the jigger, essentially. Not much, but since this is concentrate, it's gonna hit. You're gonna feel that tartness. Next, got all these strawberries. This is about half a package of strawberries. Typically, if you're just making this at home for yourself, use a quarter. But I got friends, I got my other co-host, got more. So just dump it all in. Same with the mango. And don't drop it on the floor like I just did. That's why you can get nice things. Now we're just gonna blend this bad boy up. Assuming I uh, don't lose it. You gotta find something to push it down with. <laughs> perks of not having, or I wouldn't say perks, but downside of not having a big budget. <laughs> you work with what you got. Use a little bit more ice. As you can see, the ice that I had in there is now broken down, but it's still a little too liquidy. We want a blended drink that you can enjoy. So we're gonna throw some more ice in this thing. Thank you, thank you, Eddie. All right, so essentially you want this blended enough to where all the ice is done, but at the same time you want the texture as almost as if you want like a slushy. Now that we have that blended up to a fine slushy kind of thing, we're gonna rim our glass. No ice is actually needed in this, because you know, it's all pretty good. Uh, put it however you want, me personally, I really enjoy tahini and I enjoy chamoy, so I'm gonna do myself a nice rimmer to actually eat it. Right here. Now that, you're gonna enjoy the sun. 
All right, guys. So we we ready to sear up our uh, fish. We have a little bit of uh, seasoning salt right here. Just a little bit, you know, give it a little a little flavor. We have our black black pepper. Like I said, I always season your stuff before cooking it. Some people like to season it once it's cooked. I don't get the point of it. it falls off. So here we go. We have our mahi mahi. Normally, our mahi is probably about, you know, like that, our whole piece, which is about maybe six, seven ounces. But for this, we're doing like one ounce each. And you guys want to make sure your oil is hot. Not like to the point where it's burning hot. Because otherwise, you guys see that? Once, if, you, if, you're, if your saute is not as hot, it's not gonna slide like that. It's gonna get stuck to the bottom. And then before you know it, you're just destroying your fish. And let's make sure that we are throwing the season side down. Because we're gonna season the rest. I really wanted to do this kind of like a beer batter fish, but that would have taken a lot of oil, which means that would have taken a lot of weed, which that means I wouldn't have been smoking as much weed as I do. So sometimes we have to make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that. We have here, this little piece right here trying to escape. You ain't. We have black pepper right on the other side. It. Should be a pretty, pretty good dose. That OG, I decided to make into a uh, foil because the weed itself looked kind of like iffy. But I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like pinched out a gram out of that sack, and smoked it, and it got me pretty high. But not to the point where I'm fucked up. So I think this, uh, these tacos are gonna be pretty relaxing and pretty enjoyable to be honest at the same time. So while we're waiting for a fish, we're gonna take a sip of our drink that Brandon fixed for us. Mm. It tastes just like, like a paleta. When you guys, I don't know if you guys get ice cream man in your guys' hood, but this should taste like dollar paleta that comes off a fucking ice cream truck. Mm. Might as well just eat the mango. All right, so now we have our fish in. We can crank up or flame or light, whatever you guys are using at home to cook with. Let me raise my hands real quick. And you pretty much, you want, you want your fish to be right there on that face down. And so you guys start seeing that that whitening layer around it. You guys see that layer around it? Pretty dope. Um, you guys don't have to saute your fish like this. If you wanted to, you can just, you know, lay, leave it down like we had it right now. Throw it in the oven, 350, for like about five minutes. It's gonna cook it off pretty beautiful and uh, you're only gonna have the sear on one side. It's gonna look pretty presentable, you know, but since we're making fish tacos, we really don't give a shit because it's gonna be garnished with a bunch of stuff. You see that? That's what we want. We want that gold. We want that golden sear. It smells like weed and fish in here. Which I never thought I would say, but I like it. I personally don't even eat fish, but I've been creating fucking fish tacos for like a good two weeks. It smells like weed and fish. Would you say it smells like an ASU girl? I've never been with an ASU girl. So I don't know. <laughs> So this should probably take us about maybe one more minute. Like I said, you guys wanna make sure your saute is pretty hot, your oil is hot, but not hot to the point where you're burning it. When I'm pretty sure you guys, you know, if you have common sense, you know when your oil is burning. 
Now, like I said, our saute is pretty hot, and as it is, we put it in a non-stick, non-stick uh, pan. And uh, like I said, I mean, I've been saying it's, it's not taking so long for us to cook this, and I just cut it in smaller pieces. All right, now we can turn our flame or light off. And in the remaining time that, it, you know, our saute stays hot, our fish is gonna finish up cooking. And in the meantime, we can warm up our tortillas so we can start setting this up. All right, guys. And now that we have everything ready, cooked off, prepped, uh, I can't show you guys how to make tortillas. I will show you guys one day how to make tortillas and masa from scratch. Uh, obviously THC infused. But until that episode, we're just gonna be, you know, buying them pre-made. Heat them up. I like my tortillas, you know, to get that brown on them. Y'all see this shit right here is pretty white, light. Excuse me, more. This one's not brown, but I mean, you know, I'm starting to get warmed up. You guys see the little brown spots. And you can hardly, hardly, hardly see. Get your little pomade, your flat top, whatever you want to call it. Your grilled cheese, making saute, whatever. All right, so we're making we're making a good you know amount of small tacos because it is kind of a fish bite size, and it's are pretty tiny tortillas, which you know it wouldn't be a bad appetizer if you're hosting a party, you know during the summer, especially with that heat coming up the way it is. All right, so we got our tortillas warmed up. We're gonna transfer them to a plate. While we have more tortillas warming up, we are going to build our tacos. Now, you guys already know we got some cabbage down here. I'm gonna use this as my base, just so, you know, my fish won't slide out. And remember, this is this has apple, a little bit of jalapeno, or infused oil, salt, pepper. We have a fish right here. One piece, two piece, three piece, four, five. Got that. Flip our tortillas. Turn that down a little bit. We have a crema. Normally you would keep this in a squeeze bottle, but since we are not in a real kitchen like that, like, you know, a lot of us cooks are, we're using our little magic. Let's get it some crema. And we're gonna throw a little bit of our, you know, jalapeno, cilantro, slice, mix, tomato, which also has a little bit of uh, oil, I believe. I can't remember. A little bit. I'm a little bit buzz. Oh, hi. He used to call me you know, buzz back in college. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got our tacos right here, guys. Uh, I would have had love to complement this with an avocado on top, but my high ass forgot it in the other bag. So here's our fish tacos. All right, everybody, thanks for sticking with us for today's episode of uh, fish tacos along with uh, strawberry and mango margarita infused, obviously. Uh, it's been a while since we put out an episode, but you know, we also have lives, you know, some side events happen, work, and we're just busy overall, but hey, we're here making it happen. And and by the way, if you enjoyed this episode, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and blaze the notification bell. But with no further ado, let's get into it, bro. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this. I don't eat fish, so you know I'm high enough to eat this fish. It's looking bomb. Holy bro. It needs that avocado. But it's bomb as fuck. I don't like this. Yo. Compliments it. 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Have a good weekend. Ta-ta. Oh,